Now, when you are working, you will not be able to go back to sleep. Now, when you are working, also, the enemy will try to get people to put you back to sleep. There are some who, 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 who were awakened and then went back to, sl to slumber. The enemy doesn't want you to wake up. No. Because when you wake up and you pursue purpose, your purpose is supposed to what? Touch lives, touch lives, save lives. Your purpose is connected to other people, other lives, other souls. What is purpose? You were created by God, not the devil. You have to understand this. You were created by God. You were not created by the devil. What, what, is, what is God's ultimate idea for human beings? Yeah. He brought, he brought you here and decided that you should be in, do things in a certain way. To what? To help save his people. Help save his children. And it's... It, you could, it could be in any area, any field, you know, but in whatever area he had decided to put you in, some of these gifts, talents, and abilities he puts inside of you before you come here, it's, it's designed at driving a certain purpose and agenda. We did not evolve from cells. We did not, we did not evolve from monkeys. And uh, if, you are, you are, if you are in 2023... You know, you know that that theory of evolution is, is the biggest, craziest lie you have, been, you have been told. We did not evolve from monkeys. I'm telling you. If you still believe that thing, you, you are in trouble. In 2023, the veil has been taken off. The earth is flat. It's a flat land. It's not a ball. There's nothing like nine planets. Wake up. If you still believe that we have nine planets, then you are, you, look, the veil is still covering your eyes. A lot of the, the things you have been told were lies. So just wake up. But I'm still talking about um, when you are waking. When you are waking, you, you cannot go back to sleep. Yes. But the enemy tries very hard to put you back into sleep. The enemy tries very hard. And most of the times, he puts people around you. You see, because when you are waking, you start seeing certain different things, certain different patterns. You start realizing something strange with certain things that you thought were normal. You, start, you see, look at the same things and say, ah, there's something different about this. And immediately, there'll be somebody around you to, to, to tell you, forget about this, it's not that. And that same person who is telling you this will what? Shift your focus from that thing you are looking at. When you're waking, when, when you wake up, I'm using when you are awake, when you are waking. I don't know if, if it's even a, if it's a correct English or whatever. When you wake up, you start realizing certain patterns. You start realizing certain things. You start seeing people who you have been all your life and thought, this person cared about me. All of a sudden, you start realizing, I know. This guy never liked me in the first place. You start seeing certain things. You start realizing certain, certain things. It's when you are waking, certain things start coming to you. You start receiving certain downloads. And when you receive those downloads, you are supposed to work with them. But the enemy, knowing this, most, almost all the time has somebody around you that will always, will always um, brush that thing you are seeing. You see, that thing you are seeing that you are supposed to focus further to, to really get the, rain, the, to get the understanding out of it. Almost all the time, there is somebody around you who will brush, tell you to brush, to, will try to brush that thing aside. We'll talk down on that thing and then refocus and redirect your attention to something else. And a lot of the time, the thing they direct your attention to are the old things all over again. Because they have not woken up when they are being used by the enemy. Because every human being 
you came here, it was God who brought you here. Yes, the enemy has his bloodline. Who only think about evil and all that, all these evil things <clears throat> and all that, you know. But you were brought here by God. You were created by God for what? A specific reason and a specific purpose. And I have spoken at length, you know, I've told and said and said several times why you need a personal relationship with the Holy Spirit. If you want to fulfill purpose, it will not happen in the absence of the Holy Spirit. This is a Christian channel. Now we look at the life of Jesus Christ. When it was time for Jesus to fulfill his purpose, he went to John the Baptist to be baptized. And the Bible tells us that what? The Holy Spirit led him into the wilderness to what? To prepare him. And when he came up back to, to the community, we saw the miracles, signs, the wonders, and all of those things. When the Holy Spirit shows up, he only cares about one thing. What is written about you in the book of God? What is, what, what is the mission you are supposed to fulfill here? That's what he keeps looking at. Okay, he realizes, oh, you are supposed to do this, you are supposed to do that. And that is, that is when the Holy Spirit takes over, when he comes, if you allow him to do what he's supposed to do, that's the only place you'll be pushing you to. When the Holy Spirit shows up, he only shows up for your purpose, your mission, the reason why you are here, the reason why God created you, allowing you to be able to tap into the gift God has already put inside of you to fulfill that specific mission and purpose. A lot of people change money and think money is a solution. Money is never the solution. And in fact, if you want to see and if you want to find out what true happiness is, true happiness is always in a lot of, it's, it's in very simple things. I'm telling you. And each and every one, each and every one working here on this earth has a specific thing that every time they do, your soul rejoices. Your soul, your soul rejoice. If what thing you are doing is connected to your purpose, your soul rejoices when you do those things. Some, for some people, it's giving. For some people, it's giving. You give something to some, and your soul is, you are so happy, like, it's, you get so excited, like, like you have been gifted something so big, but it's just helping someone. And some of these small, small things is a way, it's a way that God tries to remind you. Connecting to the Holy Spirit is very important. Now, John the Baptist, who baptized Jesus, was also in purpose. And if you watch, if you read your Bible and look at even the way John the Baptist preached, and some of the references he made when he was talking to the the, the religious structure there at the time, you realize that, you realize that, and, and you compare it to what Jesus came to do, you realize that a lot, they, they were on the same tangent. Why was wow, John the Baptist there? John the Baptist was there to what? To baptize Jesus. So after he baptized Jesus, John the Baptist had finished his purpose. He had finished his mission. So the king chopped off his head. The king chopped off his head because he had fulfilled his purpose. He has finished his mission. The, 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 the king, his wife, made a demand for the head of John the Baptist. So John the Baptist was killed just the way as Jesus was also killed. He had fulfilled his purpose. He has finished. You see? When I come here, I'm able to share over and I keep getting downloads and sharing over and over because what I'm doing is what I'm designed to do. The reason why people struggle to do a certain things, you are in a workplace, it is not working, you are trying so hard, so much stress, so much pressure, you are not happy, is because that's not where he wants you to be. 